start by priming my face. I'm using Wonder Glow from Charlotte Tilbury and this weird plastic beauty blender makeup mixing tray and my OMG brush from IT Cosmetics. The blending tray, I feel like I've been using every day, but it was so expensive that I don't know that I would recommend it. Anyway, this primer is bananas. I love it, it's incredible. Moving on to priming the eyes. I am also into using a brush right now for primers, be it on my eyes or on my face. And I'm using another IT Cosmetics brush right there. And then I am using this very fancy brush from IT Cosmetics. This is from their Velvet Luxe collection. I will link below. I did review these brushes during a Hot or Not. I have something to say about each and every brush in this massive collection, but I have been reaching for them a lot. I'm using my NARS Sheer Glow in Barcelona, and I'm just really into using a brush versus my beauty blender. However, here I am smoothing out my foundation with a dampened beauty blender. It almost picks up a little bit of the foundation and just makes your skin look incredible. Moving on to brows. I'm gonna brush everything upward, really neat and tidy, and set everything with a little bit of brow wax. This is from Milani, I love this stuff. And the pencil that I'm using is by Hourglass. It is the Arch Pencil in Dark Brunette. Now, this was not getting it done because I wanted a very pinup look. I wanted really strong brows. So I went in with a little brow pomade from Anastasia. And this is the shade Medium Brown. This is darker than I normally use. I'm not 100% sure that this looked great, but I had to be out the door. So there was no turning back and my brows were kind of like a whole thing. So just go with it. It looks good in the end and balanced with all the other makeup on, but they are a little strong at the moment. Now I'm just sweeping a light peach shade in my crease. I'm focusing the color really on the upper portion of my crease. I don't want to get any color on my actual eyelid. And I am using shades from the Neutral 2 palette by Sonia Kashuk. I'm grabbing a darker shade and on a MAC 224, I'm just fluffing the outer edge of the crease. Now I am taking a shade from Milani and this is in Bella Chiffon and I'm just using my fingertip. I'm using my middle finger first and then I'm going to switch to my pointer finger and blend out the outer portion of my eye. Just so the focus of pigmentation is on the inner part of my eye, and if you get any underneath, it's okay. It'll just brighten up those inner corners. And now it is time for the Showstopper, and literally this product is in the shade Showstopper. You get four very shimmery shades. This is from Sonia Kashuk. I recently hauled this, and I love it. It is even more glittery in person. So I just plopped that all over the lid and then I'm taking a little bit of Tempting on a flat shadow brush from MAC and just focusing on the outer edge. I'm trying to smoke it up a little bit, but I didn't want to use a matte shade because I wanted things to have a very sheer soft look because we are going in with a very intense winged liner. Now this is brand new. I had never used this. I was a little scared to use it on camera, but it all turned out great and I am a huge fan now. This is a liner from NYC that is $2.99 and P.S. I picked it up during Madness Monday and I got 40% off and I'm very proud that I love this new liner. All right, liner done. We're going back in the Sonia Kashuk palette and pressing a little bit of matte black shadow all over that liner just so it stays put through a concert and I am spraying my eyes and keeping them closed. This is a new thing that I'm doing as well. I like to set my eye makeup before I even move on to my face. So now I am taking a brightening concealer from Marc Jacobs on my Beauty Blender, blending it out. Then I am taking Maybelline's Fit Me Concealer and just pressing that really close to the tear duct. I didn't bring the concealer down very far. I just used a very tiny amount. Now I'm taking my Cody Airspun powder and a velour puff and I'm really pressing that into the skin for a very velvety, pore-free finish and I am actually contouring today. So I'm focusing on the upper portion of where I want to hollow out my cheekbone. You don't wanna bring that line down very far. You wanna keep it pretty high. And you'll see in a second here, just the difference that it makes. It's a very subtle, natural difference, which is what you want. You don't want a big line there. So I just finished the other side and then I'm taking a bronzer from IT Cosmetics on this ginormous brush and blending that all over the face. Now I am taking the shade Seduced at Sea on the apple of my cheeks and I'm using a Sonia Kashuk brush that is incredible by the way. 
Also, I found a new highlighter that I am obsessing over. This is Highlight Shade 1. It's called Matte Radiance from Laura Mercier, and I'm digging it big time. Like, totally love it for a sight. All right, now on to this weird torture device known as a lash curler and a little mascara. I'm using the Dior Show Iconic Over Curl, and then here I am just sculpting out my nose with a little bit of a matte sculpting powder. That one is by It Cosmetics as well, and just really fluffing the color there and blending things out. Now on to lashes, which you have to have lashes for a pinup look, and these are the Oso oh Sweets by Esquito, and I love them. You're probably wondering like, okay, why didn't you put your lashes on? But I actually like to let that glue dry for quite a while, so I'm working on the lower portion of my eye. I am taking a pencil brush and tempting from MAC, the same shade we used on that outer corner, and just blending it through the lower lash line, and then adding some mascara. And now that that glue is a little bit dry and sticky and tacky, I am pressing it in with a pair of tweezers right in the center of my eye, and then I tuck in the edges. And I am going to multitask. Again, the glue is drying on the other band of lashes, but I'm gonna fill in my lips with this gorgeous waterproof lip pencil from Make It Forever. This is the shade 8C. And then I realized that I forgot my lipstick in my purse. There we see I'm putting on the lashes, glue has dried, little mascara, and then I jump up to reach for my lipstick, which is Siren and Scarlet. It's a matte shade from Maybelline, and holy heck, I am loving this so much. I swatched and tried on the entire collection. I will link that below as well. Moving on to hair. I'm using a little dry shampoo, because this is day two hair, and it's a little limp. So I'm just going around the top section of my hair, and I am going to brush out my hair. We are gonna be using this Fab Iron from T3. Here we are brushing out yesterday's curls. I actually used the same iron yesterday and you can see it still looks really good. Like I could have left it like it is, but I wanted to tighten up the curls and here I am just putting my wand down towards the floor and wrapping the hair around it, holding it for a couple of seconds and you will see the prettiest curls ever. I have had this wand for a few months. I can finally talk about it to you guys. I got a preview of it, but it just released, and it is a three barrel iron. Look at that curl. It's just bouncy and perfect. Um, so it switches, like you can do a fatter wand or a thinner wand. Anyway, I'm not sure exactly what it is called. I will have a link below for you guys. I favor the cone shape. I just think it gives you these beautiful Hollywood style curls, and you can brush them out, and your hair just looks so pretty. So I am now working on the top portion of my hair and I am just, you know, there's really no rhyme or reason. Just grab sections, wrap it around and your hair is going to look great. And you can see I'm not letting it sit in the iron very long. This is not very damaging for your hair because it just curls it so quickly. All right, now we are moving on to my new favorite texturizing spray. This is the Garnier Fructis. Whoa, look at that hair. And then I'm just massaging it into my scalp, creating a little volume, setting with a boatload of hairspray and bam. We are done. Then I put on this dress that I am so head over heels in love with because I love the color red so, so much, especially in dresses. I just feel really pretty in red dresses. And this is from Ted Baker, and I don't care. I got overdressed for a concert. So what? That's just how I roll. So we went on our date, had a little dinner, saw a little Katy Perry, and it was so much fun. Thank you guys for hanging out and watching me get ready. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thumbs up if you do, and I will see you next time.